Today we're going to be looking at how to determine if your battery is bad on a hoverboard and we're also going to go into how to actually replace that battery if it is bad. So one of the main indicators is have your uh, charger here. Um, it's just plugged in right now. Uh, this light here should be green when it's plugged in. And then you have your other end right here that goes into your hoverboard. If when you plug it into your hoverboard, uh, I think that's over here, if this stays green, that's a good indication that your hoverboard is bad. Um, if it stays green and it turns on and it works, then you shouldn't be watching this video. But we want it to turn red. So let's, um, where is it? Let's put this in. And it blinked red for about half a second, uh, indicating that there's some sort of a connection, but it's still green. Uh, so I think what we have is a bad battery. And I'm going to bring on the second part of this test to see if the battery is actually bad. Uh, you're going to want to remove the side without the buttons on it. I've already gone ahead and drilled all this out. Um, I'm going to pull this off, unclip anything underneath that's connected, and then you have access to the battery. So now it looks like we have just a regular uh, blue battery, which is pretty standard in a lot of hoverboards. Um, this one here, you want to draw from the line that comes out of the battery and unplug it. You'll get this side here. One side's flat, one side's curved. Uh, the flat side is going to be your positive, and the curved side is going to be your negative. To test this, we need a multimeter. Very simple, very basic. Um, I turn it to VDC 200, and that'll show me how many volts are in the battery right now. So I'm going to leave that right there. And then uh, red is going to go to the hot side. I always put that in first. And then black goes into the round side. I put that in second. And then what we're looking for here is somewhere between about 34 and 40 volts. Anything less than that, um, we kind of uh, just decide how bad is it. To determine that, you actually want to look at your battery and see how many volts it says on your battery. Uh, we're testing for 36 volts today because the battery actually says 36 volts, this is um, a 36 volt battery. So I'll show you, you put the red in first and then you take the black and put it in and it's gonna give a reading. Our reading is 0 0.3.7. Uh, that's not nearly enough, we were looking for 36. So battery does need to be replaced and what we're gonna do now is just remove it and put a new one in. So here's our new one. Uh, you can actually test this one as well, and it'll show you a proper reading. So we might as well do that uh, to show you guys what a battery should read at. <coughs> so again, we're going to put the red into the flat side of our battery, and then the black into the other side. Now we have 37.3 volts. That's a proper battery. Remove the battery cage. Okay, now that we have our new battery in, uh, we're just going to be reconnecting the uh, motherboard wire uh, to the battery. Yours may not have two wires coming off it like this. Most commonly, you're gonna see just uh, the two wires here and nothing else on the other side. So, let's uh, go ahead and plug it in. You're gonna hear a small spark usually. Um, that's just everything being connected. Put it back together like that and everything should be working so that's how you put a new battery in uh, and how you test an old battery um, if you do have an old battery uh, i i would say don't throw it away uh, we can actually help recycle it for you if you'd like to send it to us our address is on our website and um, we're happy to take them and recycle them for you